Hello, my name is Ian McCall, and this is another video from the Dermoscopy Made Simple website, where we're going to talk about uh, pigmented basal cell skin cancers. Now, we've already looked at uh, essentially non-pigmented BCCs, or a bit combined. Now we're going to just focus on pigmented basal cell skin cancers. Uh, I reckon I see about 10% of the BCCs in my practice as pigmented, as pigmented BCCs. I certainly see a lot of superficial BCCs because of the solar damage we get here in Australia. Um, most BCCs, uh, or pigmented ones, are photographed because they, they look good. They've got multiple colors and they look good in the photograph. Now, what are the main dermatoscopic features that you're going to see? Well, there's a variety of things, and we'll illustrate them shortly. But mainly blue clods, brown structureless peripheral areas, gray dots or clods, lines radial meeting at a point, not only peripheral, but within the lesion itself. And then pink or white structureless areas, and then a bit of ulceration. You're much more likely to get ulceration with basal cells, it's pigmented BCCs, than you are with melanomas. And remember, pigmented BCCs do not have a network, um, so there's no line reticular within them. And any blood vessels you're going to see are going to be serpentine, uh, generally as uh, lines vessels branched. Okay? So, that's an overview of pigmented BCCs. Remember, you're going to see blue clods, brown structureless peripheral, gray dots or clods, Lines radial meeting at a point, pink or white structures, areas, and some ulceration. Let's have a look at these. There's a clinical lesion there, there's pink areas, there's bluey black areas. And then when you look at it uh, with the dermatoscope, I've illustrated some of these points. These are your blue clods, there are several others scattered through this. This is a white structureless area, it's part of that pearly background color you see in BCCs. These are linear serpentine vessels. Not all that branched there, there are some branched bits, and it's perhaps more obviously branched here, but they're linear serpentine vessels. This is a little area of ulceration. Uh, it's akin to here on the lesion. So, now, have we also got uh, brown structureless peripheral? Mm, not a lot here. There's this background area here that make, but we'll may come up as brown structureless peripheral, but we'll show you that a little bit later. So this shows many of the dermatoscopic features of BCCs. Note that linear serpentine vessels, they're typically seen in BCCs and at nexal tumors. But any large tumor can have linear branched vessels when it reaches a certain size and thickness. The thing about the, the vessels in a BCC is they're usually quite sharply focused uh, as well. You can get background linear vessels looking at skin, but they're usually out of focus. They're part of the dermal plexus. So linear serpentine and BCC, they're usually quite sharply focused. Let's look at some other things. Here's another pigmented BCC, pink and some blue. This is the blue area here, blue-white or blue-gray structureless. Um, we've got vessels linear serpentine again little bit of ulceration here. Again, pink structureless. Why do pink structureless is uh, quite commonly seen in basal cell skin cancer? So this is another pigmented BCC. What about this one? This is the lesion on the upper back, red with a central blue and black area. This is the close-up of it. More pinky uh, white here, dark black here, little ulcerated area here, this area corresponds to here, so ulceration. There are some grey dots there, I'll show you those in a minute. There's these blue-grey structureless areas here. There's this black clot, probably from old hemorrhage. Old hemorrhage is one of the things that gives you a black clot. You've got the serpentine vessels branched and a purple-blue clot here. The other little thing are these stuck-on threads because of ulceration, a little bit of oozing, you often find that um, BCCs stick to clothing. And so this is what you'll sometimes see as well. Now those grey dots, let me just enlarge that a bit for you. And try and show you that there are grey dots there. I think you'd agree, 
if you're looking in this area here, you'll see these grey dots scattered through this whole area here. And you'll see these blue-grey dots in basal cell skin cancer. There's a lot just around the outside of this as well. So, this one shows a lot of the features of, uh, of basal cell skin cancer. Let's slip on to the next one. The thing that I've had difficulty showing you so far has been brown structureless peripheral. Um, these used to be called leaf-like areas. And uh, this is what this is supposed to look like. This, by the way, was a combination of a SEB-K with a pigmented BCC. Pink and uh, blue and gray areas within it. This is your SEB-K here. This is your BCC. Um, but this is brown structureless peripheral that you'll often see in basal cell skin cancers, pigmented ones. Now, let's show you a couple of examples, and then I want to end by looking at Lyme's radial peripheral meeting at a point, what used to be known as spoke wheels, because uh, they're highly specific for pigmented BCCs. There's this lesion in the scalp. You know, before cutting the hair away, it was the clinical thought was with it, that it was going to be a melanoma. Um, there's an area of ulceration here, corresponding to this area here. This is the darkly pigmented blue-gray uh, structureless area. Um, and there's some blue clods scattered through this lesion as well. So it has the dermatoscopic features. There's no network. Remember, pigmented BCCs don't have a network. So this was all a uh, pigmented basal cell skin cancer in the scalp. Sometimes the pigmentation, the blue-gray of the pigmentation in uh, uh, pigmented BCC can be extensive. This case is the images courtesy of the SCANS blog and Dr. Simon Hosking. And look at this lesion here. Large blue-black lesion on this uh, nodule in this gentleman's uh, lower leg. When you put the dermatoscope on it, you've got this blue-white or blue-gray structureless area. Now, generally, when you see that sort of thing, um, what can it be? It can be a melanoma, it can be a blue nevus, it can be a BCC, and sometimes a very thick seborrheic keratosis will have that blue-gray structureless uh, pattern as well. You'd want to look in this to see if you could see some other features of BCC, if there are any linear um, serpentine vessels. It's awfully difficult uh, to see. You've got some of this white structureless area in the background here as well. But um, you'd certainly need to biopsy that to be certain that it was uh, a pigmented BCC and not even some melanoma metastasis that can look like this as well. And this is probably, for me, the scariest lesion of all. This one is also from the SCANS blog, and it's courtesy of Dr. Jean-Yves Gouron. Pigmented lesion, deeply pigmented on the shin. And then when you look at it with the dermatoscope, let me just make this a little bit bigger. you have this blue, white or blue-gray structures, structureless area. You have these lines peripheral or radial, but they're not exactly going into a point. Um, you'd be forgiven for thinking this is uh, lines radial uh, peripheral uh, parallel to each other, the sort of picture that you may see in a uh, Reed Nevis or sometimes if they're not all the way around, um, in a melanoma. Uh, and I must admit, the vast majority of us, when we looked at this in the blog, had this down as a, as a melanoma. But it was, uh, as I say there, one very alarming, pigmented, deeply pigmented basal cell skin cancer. So they really can be melanoma simulants at times. Now, I want us to end up with one other structure. This is your last pigmented BCC I'm going to show you here. Pink, um, a raised edge. Uh, if you were to blanch it and look, you might see a pearly white color, but you also see that a lot of the pigments in that raised uh, edge to the lesion. And if we enlarge this portion of it up here, then you see these thick, stubby, finger-like things that are going in and meeting at a point. Um, 
these are lines radial meeting at a point, and that's uh, used to be known as spoke wheels, and that's a highly specific feature for basal cell skin cancers. Uh, let me show you one last example. This one is courtesy of the scans blog and Dr. Def Kia. Uh, this was the lesion here. Look at these lines radial peripheral coming into a point. Same here, meeting in at a point. Some here as well. And Jeff has kindly applied the spoke wheels <laughs> uh, insignia here just to show you these lesions. There he's commenting on this one up here as being lines radial meeting at a point as well. And these spoke fields are highly specific for BCC. Within this, you've got some separate, you've got some blue-gray dots, you've got a blue clot and the like here, um, and you actually do have some serpentine blood vessels in this area down here as well. So, lines radial meeting at a point, highly specific for basal, pigmented basal cell skin cancer. There's just nothing else would really show that. Okay, this was just a quick romp through pigmented BCCs. We looked at uh, ordinary BCCs as well. This image here is probably the best for showing you all the dermatoscopic features, and it's the one to concentrate on if you're going back and looking at this. So you're going to see a lot of pigmented BCCs. They can be as uh, worrisome as these two. So uh, spend some time carefully looking at them and photograph them as well before you excise them. Thank you very much.